Now, 26 inmates walked to freedom today from the Langata Women's Prison in Nairobi following a review of their sentences by the High Court last week. The women, mostly jailed for petty offences, were ushered out of the facility after spending years behind bars. KTN's Timothy Otieno now reports on the journey of a 64-year-old inmate has traveled as she sought to see this day. Hata kama walikuwa wamefungwa miaka ngapi ule muda wamekaa tumeamua kwamba unatosha that was on Thursday during the Madaraka Day celebrations as the Deputy Chief Justice announced that more than 38 inmates would walk to freedom. And today, the weight of those words would come to fold. We find the inmates holding a special send-off service for their colleagues. At this time, all the inmates haven't been told who among them is leaving and who is staying. Many are hoping they will be the former and not the latter. Among the hopeful ones is Esther Wanjiru. She's among the over 500 inmates at this facility who have been waiting for this day. And when the officer in charge starts calling out the names, hers is the first. Sasa, wapi Esther Wanjiru Mwiruri. <laughs> Esther Wanjiru Arrested in 2015 for obtaining under false pretense, she was serving a four and a half year jail sentence. Naambia tama marafiki zangu wengine wamebaki wasikufe roho. Jua hata mimi kuna watu waliliziwa nikiwa hapa na siniruombe nilifurai. Kwa hivyo wasikufe roho hata siku zao zita zitafika. One by one the women are ushered into a life outside the confines of a prison cell, mothers with their children. In total, 26 inmates walked to freedom today, with 10 others having their prison sentences reduced by half. But it perhaps may have been the longest wait for this woman. 64-year-old Mary Wamboi, who has spent slightly over seven years behind bars. At the mention of her name as among those going home, the old lady would not contain herself, occasionally breaking down as the others celebrated her release. The wardens here tell us that she's one of the most beloved among the inmates. <laughs> Minutes later, we find Mary parking her belongings, eager to leave the premises. She carries with her this sack that contains all her life's belongings, a few clothes, as well as her insulin injections. Having been incarcerated in December 2011, she has spent more than five years behind bars and was set to be released in July this year. The prison management appreciates such directives meant to decongest the cells, occasionally organizing for prayer events with the hopes that it will boost the morale of the inmates not to lose hope that one day they too will walk to freedom. They preach in prisons so that we can give hope to those people who are in prison and tell them being in prison is not the end of the story. It's not the end of everything. It is just the beginning of rehabilitation attitude. These are the people who nobody wants to look at because we look at them like rejects. Uh, we think we are angels, but they are evil. They want to kill, they want to steal, all those manner of things. But we must ask ourselves, why did they do the things that they did? 
Is it not possible that we did something wrong to make to push them into that position? Some of these petty crimes they need to be looked into because they are the ones who we, 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 we see them really coming back again. So for us, it's like there's a concerted effort about maybe spiritual, you know, nourishment for them so that they change their mindset or they stop maybe alcohol uh, or loitering. For now, however. Mary Wamboy dances her way outside as a free woman for the very first time in nearly a decade, grateful that she will reunite with her five grandchildren back in Nakuru town. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.